Time now for the ridiculous, and we begin with the cranky Shirley Temple of Presidents kind of harumphing last night on his own personal good ship Lollipop, also known as Fox News, because Twitter is being mean to him and he might have to do something about it. Yeah, that's my Shirley Temple. They don't treat me right. And I know for a fact, I mean, a lot of people try and follow me, and it's very hard. I have so many people coming up, they say, sir, it's so hard, they make it hard to follow. What they're doing is wrong and possibly illegal, mm. and a lot of things are being looked at right now. Mm. A lot of things are being looked at right now. Oh, yeah. They're looking at, a, they're looking at the homeless thing. Uh, they're looking at the Biden stuff, you know, what, what's going on. The, they're looking at UFOs. But Twitter, there's something going on there. I mean... Who believes that big, fat, phony follow button? It doesn't work. Never has. People are talking about it. I hear things. You know it. Smart people know it. I know it. You know it. Some people know it. Media doesn't know it. But you know it. As soon as he's done looking to the Twitter, he can go back and finish up the July 4th parade, which is starting to feel a little like a product of too much executive time or maybe just binge watching back-to-back Patton and Hello, Dolly. Well, there's no way to know what the president is exactly talking about as far as you know, Twitter making it hard for him to follow. Because, of course, Fox News rarely presses him for details or proof of any claims. We do know, according to the Daily Beast, that the head of Twitter recently had to explain to the president that numbers of followers sometimes drop when spam and bot accounts are deleted from his favorite source of virtual applause. By the way, it is worth pointing out that the president doesn't really need Twitter to air his grievances. You know, he could just kind of kick it old school and fire up his webcam. And for that... You know, if he's looking for advice, there's no better role model than my favorite online influencer, Marbles Harsgrove. Hello, Marbles Harsgrove here again, uh, 12 um, Second video blog, getting right to it. Got a lot of uh, emails and uh, MySpace questions about uh, E. coli, wh- what is going on? So I got a soft cell, uh, looks like a flower corn tortilla. Thank you, Randy, for bringing in the specimen. Just loaded with uh, bacteria. Uh, the E. coli virus, like a, it's like a Petri dish for that. Uh, the meat, Jesus, if I'm pasteurized. And um, not surprising to me, but to many lay people, the produce, the lettuces, the uh, green onions, are loaded with the E. coli vi- uh, virus. So keep that in mind. Uh, choose wisely. And, uh, and good eating. <laughs> don't, don't live your life by fear. All right, that was Melissa McCarthy. Uh, it was one of my f- favorite characters she did before she really became a, a, you know, the big star she is. Now, if you haven't watched Marbles, you're losing yours. That is what the president should be doing. Put on a Spock sweatshirt, get an assistant named Randy, and broadcast your quest to find out what the heck is going on with Green Onions. Social media glory may come and go, but you can always roll like marbles before the parade passes by on the ridiculous.